If you guys are using WordPress, you might have discovered that most of the time emails sent from your website typically end up in spam or not delivered at all. This is a very common issue with WordPress and today I'll show you how to fix it. Now, does this mean that your web host sucks? Well, no. The most common reason for emails going missing is that your WordPress hosting server is not properly configured to use the PHP mail function. Gmail and other email providers use a variety of tools to help reduce spam. As a result, many of the times emails sent from WordPress are marked as spam or not delivered at all. To fix that, we'll be using an SMTP plugin. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. So what does that do? A WordPress SMTP plugin helps you integrate your website with your SMTP server to properly relay emails and send emails from your WordPress websites. So we're going to fix this problem in three steps. In step one, we'll install a free plugin to fix your SMTP. In step two, we'll create a free business email from your server to route emails properly. And step three, we'll test the email. All right, so let me show you guys how to do this. So let's first install the SMTP plugin. So to do that over here under plugins, I'll click on add new. And then right here, we're just gonna type in SMTP. SMTP, it's a tongue twister. There we go. Now here's the plugin that we're going to install. Of course, all these right here work, but uh, this one here is probably the most popular one because it's really simple to use. So right here, I'll click on install now, and then we'll click on activate. All right, cool. So here they have a setup wizard, but we don't need to do this just yet. Right here, I'll click on go back to dashboard. All right, cool. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we are now going to create a free business email from our web post. Now on my YouTube channel, I currently recommend Hostinger and also SiteGround. These are the two most popular web posts. So in this video, I'll be walking you guys through how to set your SMTP up with both web hosting. However, if you guys do wanna make the switch, I do have a coupon code even bigger than Hostinger's Black Friday sale. Now there is a link in the description of this video to go to hostinger.com. And once you guys are here, you guys can click on WordPress. Here I'll click on claim deal. Here they have three different plans, but for emails, you guys do get free emails with all plans. So you guys can select the plan that works best for you. So right here under business, I'll click on add to cart. And then here is a period. So you guys can actually select 12 months, 24 months, or 48 months. My discount code will actually apply for all time frames, So you guys do get the largest discount code available no matter what period you pick. But for now, I'll select 12 months. I'll scroll to the bottom. And then for coupon code, if you guys do enter the code Daryl10, you guys will save the maximum possible. So right here, I'll enter Daryl10, and it goes from 71% to 74%. So you guys will get a larger discount if you guys use my code. So you guys will go through the process and enter in your information and check out. And once you guys do, I'll meet you in your hosting or dashboard. So here I am on my hosting or account, and right here under free email, I'll click on manage. Okay, now right here, you're gonna see email accounts. I'll click on email accounts, and then I'll create a new email account. And right here, we're gonna give this a name. So this is howdy at mydomain.com. Here, I'll put in a password. And this is optional if you wanna enter a recovery email address. Right here, I'll click on create new accounts. And then here you can access the webmail, and this is where you guys can actually access the email going to that specific server. So I'll go ahead and enter that again. All right, so this is the hosting your email. Now there's nothing more that needs to be done right here. So let's go back over to our account. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to done. So next let's go click on home. Now right here, you're gonna see configure desktop app. So I'll click on configure desktop app. And here you're gonna see some login credentials. Now let me explain what we need. For any web host, you do need to have the incoming server information. This includes the server name, the port number, and the credentials for the email that we just created. And let's go back to our websites. So first we'll scroll down and for the from email, I now want to select that specific email, that one that we just created, right? So howdy at darylwilsontutorial.com. You can actually put a from name. So I'll put Daryl Wilson. Next, we're gonna scroll down and here you have the mailer. We're gonna select other SMTP and then scroll down. So now we're gonna copy and paste this information onto the plugin. So let's go back over here. And we're gonna take the outgoing server information. This is the host name right here. So I'll go ahead and put the host name. We're gonna select SSL. And then right here, make sure you enter 465. So this can be found right here, port 465, right? We'll scroll down. And now you're gonna enter the credentials for your email. We 
Once you guys enter those credentials, we'll scroll to the bottom and click on save settings. And that's it. So now we need to test this email and then I'll show you guys how to do this with SiteGround. So over here under tools, you'll see that we can click on send to. So I'll just send it to that specific email. All right, so it was a success and it says right here, it might've been sent, but just check just to make sure. So let's go ahead and check our email account right here. And I'll just refresh this. I'm not gonna edit the video. Oh, there it is. All right, cool. So you'll see now that it has been successfully sent to our specific email, right? So that's how you guys can pretty much route emails to any email that you guys choose. So now that I showed you guys how to do this with Hostinger, now let me show you guys how to do this with SiteGround. So we'll scroll to the bottom and we're just gonna go ahead and show you where these credentials are found. So this is my SiteGround account. You'll make sure that you go to websites and click on websites, and then you can go to any of your domain. So for control domain, I'll click on site tools. So here you're gonna see email accounts. I'll go ahead and click on email accounts, and then you're gonna do the same exact process. So this is gonna be hello at controldomain.com, and then I'll enter a password. Here I'll click on create, you guys can already see it has the email configuration information ready for us. Pretty simple, right? So here's the email right here. And now we're just gonna enter in our credentials. You guys can also find this by clicking on the three dots and clicking on mail configuration and then clicking on manual settings. This is also where all the information is found for your email that you created. So here's the current website on tutorial domain. Now I'm gonna go over here and go through the same process. Now I already have the plugin installed. So you'll see that uh, if I scroll right here, you'll see WP mail. I'll click on settings and we're gonna do the same exact thing. So we're just gonna enter in the same credentials from SiteGround. So it was hello at tutorialdomain.com. We'll put my name, we'll scroll to the bottom. Here I'll click on other SMTP and then we're gonna enter in our SMTP information. So now we're gonna copy and paste the information. So for the host name, it's mail.tutorial.com. So I'll go ahead and copy this and we'll paste it there. For the port number, 465, and then we're gonna enter in our credentials. All right, once you guys do that, we'll then scroll to the bottom and then click on save settings. All right, cool. Now let's go ahead and test it. So down here, tools, and we're gonna send this to my current email over here, which is my Proton address. So I'll go ahead and copy this. Go back to our inbox so we can see it. And then we're gonna go over here and we're just gonna paste in our information, my email, and then let's click on send email. All right, so it says it was sent and let's just go ahead and wait. I'm not gonna edit the video let's just see if it sends really, really quick. It really depends on your web host. I'll click on the refresh button and voila, you guys will see that it is now working and our emails are now being routed from our website using SiteGround hosting. So this is properly how you guys can route emails directly from your WordPress websites. I hope this tutorial was helpful. When I first started using WordPress, I actually rated the web host ability to send emails as like the best web hosting because I was such a noob, I didn't really know what to do, right? So uh, I do hope that this video helped you guys out. Now this can be done with any web host, right? So uh, I know I showed you guys SiteGround and Hostinger, but all you need to do is get your credentials for your web host, install the plugin, and everything should work just fine. I hope this video helped. Let me know in the comments below if it did. And until then, I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take care.